busted ass chair out of here. Hello, hello. It's Friday. What we got today is uh, Four Peaks Cool Beans Vanilla Coffee Porter. Let me just check on you guys, make sure that you're able to hear me. And because this, this is going to be a little rough. Um, we're again just doing a live stream off of my phone. So there's going to be traffic in the background and whatnot. It's fucking deal, bro. But um, let me check on here and make sure that I'm able to see, to wait, that you're able to hear me at all. And if you are, go ahead and, yeah, I know how it fucking works, thank you. All right. Okay, let me know, can you hear me? All right, sweet, let's go. So, dude, you have to pay extra for the Daisy Dukes and if you want to see my balls hanging out, you got to pay extra. All right. So when you're a famous internet celebrity like I am, <laughs> dripping with sarcasm, um, sometimes companies reach out and they're like, hey, do you want to take a look at this thing and review it? And I'm always, always like, fuck yeah, I'll take free shit. Sometimes the stuff that they send is garbage. And if it's total garbage, it's not that I don't want to cover it, but it's hard for me to get fired up about like, how do I tell a story about absolute shit? Um, so oftentimes they'll send me something and I'm, I, I'm just not that interested in it and I don't do a video about it. Uh, that's a form of reviewer bias that we don't talk about much where it's not like the manufacturers like telling me I've got to make something positive, but at the same time, this relationship here should be about a story. There should be a, an interesting story to tell. And if there isn't, you guys don't want to watch it and I'm not into making it. So that's a form of bias. If, if, if I get a product that's just kind of shit, I don't want to make a video about it. I don't know whether this is shit or not. Um, I'm just opening the package to begin with. But it's the the type of, of product that um, it's just not my thing so I know before I even uh, before I even open it up even if it's a very good product I know I'm probably not going to be into it because I don't pocket care so however this turns out whatever this looks like um, I'm going to give it away to one of my Patreon subscribers I think I'll probably just randomly choose any one of the subscribers whether you're like five or ten or one dollar or whatever i don't give a shit but um i'll give you some time in case you're not subscribed already before i draw the names but i don't know in a couple of days whenever i whenever i wake up and find meaning in life again after the alcoholics haze that my weekends have become <laughs> at some point when i fucking feel like it i'll draw some names I'll draw a name and I'll fire this thing off to you. But before we do that, let's take a look at it. What does a clinger holster look like? Oh, this is a this is a custom knife from Nikolai Yermolenko. Um, that's spelled like this. If I remember right, that's how it's spelled. Um, that dude, I got this years ago before I even started making videos, and he makes 
full on handmade, like actual two spec custom knives. A lot of times people say custom, and what they really mean is handmade, however the fuck I feel like. Um, he makes custom knives to your spec at like ridiculously reasonable rates. I don't want to put any words in his mouth. It was a couple of years ago. He deserves a lot more than I gave him for it. But if it if it helps at all, I didn't give him cash. I traded him a gun for it. Uh, so this is the Klinger holster. It looks like it comes with some Velcro tabs and a oh alcohol pad in there. Oh, it's the Klinger cushion. This isn't even for a hole. Oh, this is for your cushion. So I saw one of their holsters a while ago, and it's a pocket holster with uh, sticky thing, stuff on the outside. That's why I got the shield out. I thought that was going to be it. This is a Klinger cushion. I'm going to have to read the destructions to figure out what the fuck this is. Who wants the sticker? It's yours. Whoever says, I want it first gets it, and uh, just email me your address later. All right. Klinger cushion. Over 42,000 satisfied customers. You definitely want to make sure your customers are satisfied with the cushion that you're cushioning. Attaches to any holster, soft and cushiony, breathable, ambidextrous, works for inside the waistband or outside the waistband holsters. Okay, and <laughs> you can't make this shit up. They printed out a fucking YouTube page, guys. They printed, they printed a fucking YouTube video. I shit you not, they printed, they printed a fucking YouTube video, guys. Uh, there's two reviews there. Nope. I mean, obviously, this is a printout of their website. Of course, that's it's just it's fucking hilarious that they would include that part. Like, don't zero effort on that marketing right there. That's cool though. Um, keeps costs down. I I got nothing against it. Incredibly easy to use. Okay. That's, that's pretty much it. All right. So, what do they say about it? Let's start back here on the YouTube page. Comfortable concealed carry. Have you ever found concealed carry to be less than comfortable? Eh, you know, kind of. It's, it's gone. It's in your pants. That's the clinger, the clinger cushion solves that problem. Wouldn't it be fucking awesome if people had mufflers on their cars? Don't even have to pay a $200 tax to put a muffler on your car. Nope. Don't like mufflers. Fuck that shit. All right. Clear cushion makes concealed carry more comfortable than you ever though, folks, than you ever though possible, folks. More comfortable than you could ever though possible. Breathable. The top layer of the clear cushion is breathable. It helps to wick away sweat. This is a huge improvement over your typical holster. Nobody wants sweat pulling up between their skin and their holster. Go somewhere, dick. You can finally carry your you, you can finally carry your pistol without a pool of sweat getting in the way. Cushiony. The middle layer of the clear cushion is a very cushiony material that melts away the hard angles of a Kydex holster. It makes concealed carry comfortable easy to use it's incredibly easy to install the clinger cushion simply place the velcro dots on the holster and then attach the clinger cushion returns are easy and pain-free you have a full two weeks to try out a new holster if you don't love it send it back it's that simple clinger cushion benefits attached to any holster soft and cushiony breathable oh, the, the bullet points from a moment ago all right as ave would say and time all right let's get this thing unloaded this might not be the best thing to test with. What I ought to do, I ought to put it on like the biggest fucking gun that I have a holster for. It's not really that big. Um, yeah, like the biggest handgun that I have a holster for is, uh, uh, well, no, I mean, I've got that, I got that Herder's single action. 
uh, that thing's that thing's a hog leg. But the only holster I have for it is, is one of those kind of open pouch leather holsters, like old school cowboy. Obviously not for that. Um, shit that, I mean, the biggest inside the waistband holster I have is for like a Glock 22. I, all right. So forget the shield. We'll use this. This is for the 23. Not that much different. That's probably closest to what this product is aimed at. I'm gonna put this shit on here, but like, I am even less interested in this than I was in the, uh, inside the, the pocket holster sticky thing that they made before. I, I just don't do pocket carry, but like, this seems like a really bad idea because there are a few different dimensions that make carry uncomfortable. Yes, the hardness of the material, kind of, I guess, but I mean, you know, you carry a light and a flash, uh, you carry a light and a wallet, and a pocket knife and stuff, and all those things are hard too. Yeah, that's what she said, get it out. <laughs> But like, holy shit, that's filthy. But um, a big part of what makes concealed carry uncomfortable is having uh, a belt that doesn't fit right or not stiff enough and you're all lopsided or where a gun can torque away from the body a little bit and like stick out. Anything that kind of sticks out is what makes it uncomfortable. So the cushiony part of this is to my, uh, to my mind, probably a lot less interest, a lot less useful than the, um, than the fact that it, it's just going to make it that much thicker. Can you sit there? There we go. That much thicker. Shit, I don't know, man. So I guess you're probably supposed to do it that way. Let's see if there are any destructions in here. Does this? Nope, that's just a one, one-sided card. How to install, wash your hands. Well, I pissed on them, that's close enough. Clean the holster body with rubbing alcohol. All right. Oh, not, not, okay. The wrong kind of alcohol. Holster body with rubbing alcohol, which they thoughtfully provide. Okay, we'll do it. Clean it off. On the other side. Man, the beard did a pretty good job on it. It's not that dirty anymore. Place the Velcro dots on the holster body. Placed on the horse. There we go. I assume they mean affix the Velcro dots to the holster body, so I'll just go ahead and do that. Apply a generous pressure to the dots to ensure they adhere well. All right. boop, 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 boop. Pushing on the dots. Pushing on the dots. So sticky. So yeah, I don't... You, you know, you look around at the holster designs that are out there, and there aren't a whole lot of holsters out there that are like big and cushiony and all that. There's a reason for that. Because people who carry guns, carry guns a lot, know that it doesn't really matter how cushiony something is. What matters mostly is how is how stable it stays and how thick it is. Too thick, yo. All right. So next up. 
Place the cleaner holster, the cleaner custom. Place the cleaner cushion on the holster body. There we go. Okay. Didn't say anything else after that, but I assume I put the gun in the holster, put it on. It's not as terrible as I thought it was going to be. It looked really thick, so I thought it was going to like stick out a lot. But yeah. I mean, I got to admit, it does feel a little less bony, a little less like a skinny chick sitting on your lap or whatever. You know how especially like if you have kids that climb on you and like every point that they touch is just like they're all knees and elbows when they climb over you and there's a bit of that with carrying a gun you know there's a hard part right up against your bone and it's i i gotta admit yeah it does it does help a little bit with that but not what I'm into. I'm not in that interested in it. I think. I am not regretting the decision to give it away. <laughs> if one of you want it, I won't judge you. thread stuck in it because you know it's pretty aggressive velcro and i mean it's it's got like the build i'd say is is pretty mediocre like you see how this theme, seam here it's not very finished the the cut isn't like super even the the stitch comes really close to the edge right here this this edging material seems like it's some kind of felt so it seems like that stitch could come out pretty easily. There's, a, oh yeah, it comes real close to the edge there too. And there, let me get you a little closer to it. It's gonna be hard for you to see on mobile, but I'll do my best here so you can. Yeah, that's not too bad, you can see here. You see how the cut is really uneven, it's just kind of jagged. Comes real close to the, the stitch comes close to the edge of that. I think it's way far away here. Again, close there. I mean, you know, it feels all right. Feels like, it really feels like some kind of cheap foam in there. There's there's this type of foam that's like a, um, it's almost, traffic died. You hear that? I'm just kind of squeezing it and it makes this, this kind of crunching sound. I'm not that into it. Like I said, somebody wants it. Um, shit, man, I should. I guess. I guess what I can do is is I'll just uh, I'll draw a name and then like if you I'll email you and if you don't want it, you can say so. <laughs> Because I wouldn't blame you. Yeah, I think that's probably about all I have to say about this. So I'll go ahead and leave this here and we can do some QA and whatnot. Let's see what you guys have to say. Jeremy Whitwell was indeed first. Ah, cherished dream, best dream. Okay. Got fired today. I'm now looking for a job in the gun industry. Well, that's a bummer. 
This is going to be a little rough. Yeah. <laughs> it's really cool. Florida man had a job? Right. Send me a cleaner. I'm not dressing. I'm a fit well this time. If you have any questions, now's the time to post them up. Oh, yeah. Are you going to do a review of the Buffalo Boar Sniper 223? I don't see the drill test on it seems to use the Sierra SMK bullet in way higher velocities. Um, good question. If you want me to test it, send send me an email at choppyblocktests at gmail.com and um, I will add it to the queue. It's not a legal business in Florida. Yeah, when Florida man says he got fired from his job, what he means is the police caught him burglarizing. I mean, sure, okay, because they, I thought they had alligator protection laws down there because you, Nikolai, you're not. That looks like one of those old. Um, yeah, it's. I forget what it's made out of. I think it. I think it may be. I think it may be a spike, a, a railroad spike, or a, a nail, or something like that. Real, real nice. Like he got the, got the dimensions for my hand. Pretty, pretty perfect. Feels feels real good. Super sharp. Love it. This is a, this is a sheet from uh, TCB. Ironically, TCB holsters here in Phoenix. Press play, damn it. What? What do you mean press play? What are you talking about press play? Play? How's that? Okay. Check your pagers, Wi-Fi to make sure. What the fuck? Unmute the page. Some rascal with the loader. Don't harm. So I'll talk to that. So. You kids and your fancy plastic holsters. I am one, but does my talking. Well, if you rub your holster long enough and vigorously enough, it grows bigger. Wait, no, that's not the... Uh, if you keep rubbing it, it grows smaller and loses interest in you. That's why guns go off when you clean them. Well, only if you clean them good. Uh, I thought Andrew was going to go 80 style with SOB. Yeah, yeah, that would be pretty, that'd be pretty dope with the... Uh, like, you're talking about like this move right there like a, like a tramp stamp but it's a gun a three-year-old nephew banged his head on my cc when he ran to bug me once so i always try to catch him early now it wasn't happy at any <laughs> that's hilarious my, my three-year-old nephew banged his head on my concealed carry piece when he ran to hug me once, so I always try to catch him early now. He wasn't happy at hitting his head on my belt buckle. You really shouldn't be wearing a cod piece in this day and age. It doesn't look horrible. I'm also a hoarder when it comes to anything gun related. We expect from no retention, great idea. Uh, this is a Kydex holster, old man. The retention is on the front of the trigger. It's it's in there good and solid. When you get the camera, will you make a quick video? Also, 
can we all put ideas for the mission in the comments? That sounds like a fantastic idea, yes. Um, I'm not going to promise to make a video tomorrow, depending on how you meant that sentence, but I assume that you meant sometime after I receive the camera, will I make a video with it? Yes, thank you Florida Man for your gracious donation. Uh, Florida Man uh, bought a hidden camera off of Amazon and sent it to me for my next adventure with the carrots. And yeah, absolutely, I will definitely make a video using that camera and we can use that video's comment section to brainstorm ideas for the next penetration. What's your EDC? Um, that is a Glock Model 23. I can't see you. Oh, you might see the serial number that way. Still can't fall asleep. I came here to listen to your voice. No home. Alright, high school opponents to suggest ideas. Florida Man's EDC includes a flat <laughs> a sharpened flat screwdriver. Yeah. That would sound like the sound of North Facing Jet Fighter. Because I live right on the fucking road and I'm poor, that's why. I asked if you could hear me. Blame it on Florida man. He said yes. How long does it take to mow your lawn? Uh, yeah, it doesn't. Uh, yeah, the, the little bit of grass that you see there is plastic. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> Flexing on the pores with that block, I got an EA witness beat that folks. All right, so I'm caught up with the comments. Um, if you have any last second questions, get them in now. I, I didn't see anybody that wanted the sticker, so it's gonna go to the person I draw from the Patreons if anybody even fucking wants this thing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm selling it so well, aren't I? <laughs> If one of you, um, I will do as I said. I will I will draw some names and I will just keep churning through those until I find somebody that wants it. Um, we all good? Okay, yeah, I think we're all good. I love you. Oh, well, Florida man, you deserve it anyway. So I will mail it to you whenever i get around to it <laughs> or that fine whatever make up your fucking mind bro i love you